back to the Fitzfire channel. So today we're going to be looking at my EDC pouch. All right, so this is a Maxpedition cap. You see the name right there. All right, and also you can tell this thing gets quite a bit of use. It's pretty, pretty dirty, kind of worn in certain places. All right, so first of all, you can see the size of it. It's actually, oh, I would say probably between the medium to large size uh, EDC pouch that you could wear on your belt. All right, you see this here. The system you can actually can you push here and you snap that out. But honestly, I don't like I don't like doing that. Uh, it's a bit inconvenient for me. And so usually I'll just take my belt off and I'll just run the belt through these loops that I set up like this, which you can actually you can change that setup depending how how you want. And also these are completely removable. And so if you don't want this hard plastic kind of like uh, loop here. Um, you can actually take that off. All right, I know that also these are meant to be used for kind of like tying it to a mole, the mole system, the mole straps. All right, so let me go and open this up. And now uh, this is a major thing that I like about this pack is that it opens up very wide. And so when I need to op get to something, I can pull it wide open. All right, and it has two different compartments. All right, so I'll go. I'll start with the first one, and I'll kind of take some the stuff out, and I'll show you what it is, why I carry it. All right, so here in the middle, we have the Nipex Cobra. These are the 125. All right, as so you can see, a pretty small, compact size, um, but they actually they they do quite a big bite, and so I really like these pliers for how small they are and how much they can actually do. All right, then this is a pin from Refine. And really, really nice pen. I like like the titanium. It's been stone washed. And the action on it is very, very, very fidgety. I love it. And so when you're sitting there and you got your pen out, this right here is just absolutely fun to play, to play with. All right, major minus, major con in this pen is it's not really a tactical pen. Usually a tactical pen will have like a carbide, a tungsten carbide tip for breaking glass. Um, you could still use it, you know, in your fist kind of like, like Kubaton, you know, but it's more of a pin. It's less of a tactical pin. And maybe someday soon I'll do a bit of a review of some different pins that I have that I've carried um, between tactical, non-tactical. So if you guys are interested in that, let me know if you're interested in seeing some of the different EDC pins that I have. All right, next up is I have this Pioneer X. Okay, so this is the Alox, the 93 millimeter. Um, not my favorite model. Uh, it's kind of just a toss it in the bag. I used to have a Cyber Tool M that I carried in that power, that slot right there, um, but I ended up I ended up taking it out. I ended up taking it apart for some. Uh, I needed some parts. <laughs> so, anyways, I imagine you guys have probably seen the uh, the Pioneer before. Okay, on the 93 millimeter, you have the awl. All right, then you have your scissors. You can't open your bottle opener. All that, and right here is. This is some paracord, right? 550 cord. But now this, this is a really amazing paracord. And let me tell you more about that. It is called Titan Paracord. And what makes it really unique is it has the usual, what's it, seven strands I think it's supposed to have? Or five strands, something like that. But this also has included in it this copper snare wire, right? If you can see that right there. Right, so you have snare wire in there for making like traps or you know for whatever reason you'll need um, copper wire. It also has fishing line right here. Let me pull it out. You can see it a bit better. All right, so you have some fishing line naturally for fishing or there's a lot of different uses also for that. And also this brown strand right here is waterproof tinder. All right, so it's kind of it feels almost like it has a wax on it. And you basically what you do is you'd pull that out and you kind of pull it apart and it works as tinder for starting a fire. All right, so this paracord, not a whole lot on here, but in my EDC pouch, I don't, I don't plan to carry a whole lot. But there's actually a lot of different uses for this with the fishing cord in there, the, uh, the copper snare uh, wire, and then that tinder. Okay, next up, this is... a cold forged it is eating utensils and definitely one of the most convenient eating utensils that I found for EDC so far all right so you have your fork 
and you have your knife go down a bit like there and also really awesome setup I like it um, main thing that I like about it is simply that it is so thin and so that fits into my bag um, before before I ordered this um, I didn't carry an eating utensil in my EDC bag because it just it wasn't a necessity um, I'm not gonna be like camping with this and so so basically you know it, it wasn't worth carrying a large you know like spork or something like that whereas this is literally it's like maybe three credit cards you know to be yeah I'd say easily two or three credit cards and it doesn't take up a lot of space and so it's something really nice that it's able to add all right so I have a wet wipe I have some bubble gum and actually, there's lots you can do with this tin foil. I'm sure you've seen some of the life hacks, uh, little tricks where you can take the tin foil from the bubble gum and like a AA battery and use for starting a fire. If you guys have not seen that, go ahead in the comments, ask me about that. I may make a video if you haven't seen that yet. All right, then I have this big lighter. And before you get all judgy on me, I found this. Yeah, basically I found this and it's like, well, you know, why buy a why buy a new lighter if I found this one? And so, yeah, I didn't choose pink. It's just yeah, what I found. All right, so you can see inside. In the front here, I have some different um, pills. I have acetaminophen, which is kind of like Tylenol. I have a Vicks cough drop. I have Advil and Benadryl. All right, so those are the. The pills that I carry in my EDC. I'm gonna put that aside because we run out of space here. All right, the next up is take out this super glue. Another really awesome thing that I found for carrying is this crazy glue. And what's nice about it is it fits in this little tube. And so, because you know, it's kind of infamous that super glue leaks. And so, you see, I've already used this. Um, and so the, the super glue, you know, it leaks out all the time. And so being able to keep it in a, a tube is a nice way to keep your bag and everything else safe from the super glue. But super glue is a very nice thing to carry. And there's literally, you know, endless uses for super glue. Probably the, the, the most use that this gets is fixing my wife's nails. And so, I mean, hey, it works, right? All right, next up, this is kind of like a little multi-tool. Uh, it's a whistle. You blow in there, it's a whistle, but also it is a frozen rod. All right, so there you go. So you get a little ferro rod, you get the whistle. Next up, this is something I just tossed in to my EDC. It's just a straw, kind of stretch out. And so it'll end up getting chunked in the trash eventually. It's not, not something that um, is intended for multiple use. All right, next up, and for some reason it's not wanting to come out easily. There we go. So the, this is tweezers. It's called Uncle Bill's Silver uh, Sliver Gripper. And it does have a really nice tip. Um, it's really convenient for getting to um, splinters and stuff like that. And then it folds in here. It holds in there like that. So that's something really nice to keep. Nice to have in there. I right, usually I carry Burt's Bees. Um, is usually what I carry, but I ran out of the Burt's Bees, and so I just have this lip balm. All right, next up is this second skin. It's called Liquid Skin, and it's kind of almost like like super glue. Um, you basically you put it on a wound, and it creates like literally like like a second layer of skin. All right, so that is all for this first first um, pocket here and so now you kind of see a little better um, I like how they set it up so it's easier to organize you have these elastic um, loops here and so it's nice for organizing things to make sure they stay where they're intended to stay you have the pocket in the front you're gonna close it up and show you what have the next compartment fold this open all right, so this right here is something that I kind of set up myself. This was like a, just a, simply a spray bottle 
that came with um, what's it called like it's a glass screen guard for like your cell phone. And so you were supposed to spray. This is like a soapy uh, liquid that you sprayed on, and then you you attach the screen protector. Um, and so I, I drained all that out, and I poured antiseptic in there. All right. So with you know with the COVID you're going around stuff. This has been one of the most used items in my bag recently because as I'm out and about and I want to spray my hand, disinfect it, you know, this is what I use. And so that really compact size makes it convenient for carrying. All right, then over here, I have this pepper spray. And the pepper spray is meant for like a non-lethal uh, self-defense. Um, I think the only time I've used this was I had a dog chasing me and he bit my, <laughs> he bit my ankle and so yeah, I gave him something to remember me by. Don't worry, the dog was fine. And so am I. Okay, next up is this flashlight from uh, Robbie Vaughn. This is the Angel Eyes E200U. And I've actually, I've done a review on this. And so if you haven't seen that, if you're interested, be sure to go back and see that review. It's really convenient. It has the USB-A and USB-C, um, what are they called, waves basically. And so it's very good for disinfecting surfaces because the USB-A, if I remember correctly, I'm, I'm, I think it was the USB-A, uh, maybe in the B, C. Anyways, I'm getting confused now. Whichever one it, whichever one it is, it actually it is um, deadly for like, um, yeah, bacteria or whatever. All right, so anyways, you have, uh, that's just flashlight. Pretty bright. And on this side, you have the UV. And it adds a bit of a protective your quartz. Anyways, I'm not gonna get into that detail. Um, like I said, I've already done a review. Another nice thing that I like about it is that it is has a magnetic tail. And so like if you're working on your car, you can like just slip this to, attach this to the uh, the hood of your car and you know, got some light. All right, then I have, this is another lockpick set from Salard. And I like the setup because it doesn't look, it doesn't look like a lockpick set. All right, and so some people, when they see a lockpick, they think, oh, what are you, a criminal? It's like, no, not everybody with a lockpick is a criminal. And so in the back, you open this up, what well, looks like the, the pocket clip is actually your tensioner rod. All right, and so that's what you would use. You'd put that into the lock and you put some tension on it. And then inside, you have a whole set of lockpicks. And so what you would do is, you would take out a lock pick, you loosen this up, slide it in here, tighten it down. All right, then you have your lock, uh, your pick, and your tensioner. And so I really like that setup. I like how how it becomes really compact, um, and it doesn't cause any like any suspicion or you know people thinking you know, you're you're a criminal. All right, yeah. I'll just put that over here. All right, then I have a Tide to go. Just something, whenever, it's something that happens, you, know, you, you spill you know, your coffee on you, you, you get you know, food dropped on you. And so this is kind of nice, getting it cleaned up. Uh, something my, my wife has asked, asked for several times from my bag. All right, and next up I have here are the, the bits for the Leatherman. All right, if you watch my video, you know that my core EDC, I carry a, um, a Leatherman charge. And so in here, we have this little, it's not really a bit driver, but it, it takes these different bits. And so I carry this in my EDC pouch. So whenever I need some different, some different bits, you've got like, like torques and so like that. And so whenever I need that, I have those bits. All right, then at the bottom, probably the weirdest thing that I carry that I actually kind of like, um, you can see it's super tiny. This is a harmonica. And yes, it is actually playable. It's called the Little Lady. And it is, if I'm not mistaken, the smallest harmonica. All right, so you have just, um, basically you can play up to eight notes on it. And so you're not gonna play any complex songs. Um, but yeah, you know, it's really cool. I, I, like, I like how I like how small it is. Is it needed in my EDC? Do I recommend you to buy one? No, not really. I mean, you can <laughs> you can survive forever without you know a harmonica, but it's something cool that I decided to carry.
There's a couple songs I can play on that. I won't entertain you guys right now with that. Okay, and then in the front, I have some different creams. I have Wound Seal. I'll take this out and I'll show you what exactly I have here. Okay, Wound Seal is like a powder. And so whenever you have a wound that is bleeding a lot, um, you pour this into there and it kind of like, not literally, um, what's the term? Um, it doesn't like literally burn the wound, but it kind of like cauterizes it. I know cauterizing is literally burning, but anyways, it makes the wound stop bleeding. Um, and then, this right here is Sting Kill. And so when you get like a bee sting, an ant sting, whatever, this sting kill, what you do is there's a glass vial inside that you pinch and it breaks. And then this little cotton swab at the end kind of gets saturated. And you rub that on the sting. And this works amazingly for um, relieving the pain from a sting. And so it's really, really nice to have. And then I have some skin lotion. I have some instant hand sanitizer. Oral pain relief. This is really awesome for like if you have a toothache or you know, your gums are hurting, if you have like a um, canker sore, this will literally make your mouth numb. And if you accidentally swallow it, which trust me you will, your throat will go numb too. And so that's some really powerful stuff. I right, then some burn gel, kind of self-explanatory, and some povidine iodine. Yeah, this is for cleaning up a wound before big guys clean up a wound. All right, now this is not intended to be my trauma kit. This is not my medical kit. This is just my EDC. And so actually, um, in my car, I carry a full-fledged trauma kit. All right, and so I may go, I may show that to you guys someday. If you're interested, be sure to request that. All right, then next up here, this is a, um, basically it's a wet wipe. And I'll go ahead and I'll demonstrate this for you. It's kind of cool. What you do is, this can be used as toilet paper or as a wet wipe, depending on the amount of water you add. So what you do is you just pour a bit of water on it. Like I said, the more you pour, the more moist it's going to be. And so right now, uh, maybe a little more. All right, so that's just a little bit of water. So the, it's not actually like wet. But if you open this up, and that would work as toilet paper, you know, if you need like emergency uh, toilet paper, or if you get it even wetter, you pour more water on it, then it works as a wet wipe. And so it's really nice how how compact that little tablet is, you know, that turns out to be, you know, literally this big, <laughs> this big, um, how you call it, a napkin, rag, toilet paper, wet wipe. Anyways, whatever you want to call it, really nice thing to carry. I enjoy having those. All right, next up I have some salt, some pepper, and some red paper flakes. Yes, these are all from Arby's. No, I didn't steal them. My cousin had a whole tray full of them, and she was going to throw it away, and so, yeah, I snatched them up. I saved them. And these are survival tabs. Basically what this is, is it is, I'll let you read this right here. It's the best possible nutrition in the smallest possible volume. And... Literally, or at least theoretically, you could eat this instead of food, all right? And I think they recommend eating one tab every, let's see, I think it's every three hours you're supposed to take one. And it's supposed to replace food. And now what I've read from some of the reviews of people who actually went ahead and tried that is they said you still feel hungry, but, you know, simply because, you know, a, a, a tablet of this size is not going to really replace, you know, a full meal. Um, your stomach's going to still feel empty, but it's supposed to have all of the nutrition that you need um, to survive. All right. So it's not like, you know, replacing food, you know, you're not going to be hungry, but it's replacing as, as in the need for nutrition. It's actually not a bad flavor. Um, it kind of tastes about like dry milk. Uh, I think this is like caramel flavored or so. And this one is, oh uh, yeah, it's butterscotch. All right. So the butterscotch flavored. So if, you, if you're looking for something to keep in your bag for, you know, like if your sugar drops or if, you know, you just, you want to get rid of that hunger uh, or you're skipping a meal, you know, it's, it's actually something really nice to carry. All right, then farther on, I have a bit of 
There's some small items here. Um, this is um, Gorilla glue, uh, glue, sorry, Gorilla Tape. Now, if you don't know what that is, it's kind of like duct tape, but it's a bit stickier and a bit uh, tougher. All right, then I have some Kevlar string. All right, I have some Kevlar string. This is really, really strong string. That has lots of uses for it. And then I have a small little care binder and a little pocket clip. And again, you know, thousands of uses for small items like that. All right, we're getting to the bottom here. Here I have a write in the rain notepad. And I have some, some phone numbers written in there um, in case my, my cell phone, um, the battery dies or whatever. So I have some emergency information there. And then, you know, with the pen that you can take down notes and different things like that. And it's also, it's waterproof. And so if you get, if you get the pages wet, you know, it's not a problem. And another thing, another good reason to be carrying um, a notepad is if you do need to start a fire, you have paper and that's really a really simple tinder basically. All right, and then lastly, I have this Aqua Heel. It is basically, it's for like a burn. It's, uh, it looks about like a, a transparent um, Band-Aid. So it's really good on burns. Then here I have a whole package of different size Band-Aids. And on the back I have some Steri strips. And you see here also I have some antibiotic ointment. All right, but that's all, that's all basically that. It's just um, different sized Band-Aids and stuff like that. All right, something else to point out about the actual pack is that on the bottom, you have these little drain um, cutouts. And so if you do have something spills in there or water gets inside, you know, it actually is gonna, it's gonna pour out. All right, so that is all for, for this kit, this EDC kit. Everything's kind of laying everywhere right now. Um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I hope it was helpful for you. And something to keep in mind uh, as you write in comments, I'd, I'd love to hear you know, your suggestions, but something to keep in mind is this is, this is just uh, what I carry in my belt. And so I have larger survival bags that I keep in my car, in which I'll get to this in a later video. And then actually in my car, I also I keep a, like a, um, some people call it a bug out bag, a get home bag, uh, so all different kinds of names for it, where actually you have your survival gear, you have um, your water filters, um, some, some way to make a primitive like a uh, tent or a cover. And so this what I carry, if I'm walking into the store, I don't need to be filtering water. All right, so I don't have a water filter in here. You know, if I'm walking into, let's say Walmart, I don't need, I don't need a tent. And so whenever you're setting up your EDC bag, you wanna make sure you're, you've got a good balance between what you need and size because if it's too big you're going to end up leaving it at home and so everybody, everybody's bag is going to be you know, kind of different for what their needs are uh, for what they have what they deem necessary and even my bag it it changes over time some things i carry some things i don't carry i used to carry um this small little tabasco bottle and it was more for sentimental reasons my brother gave it to me uh he he, he got it from an mre when he was in the marines and so I carried it for a while, but it actually it takes up takes up quite a bit of space, and it's not really something that I felt needed to carry. So I ended up taking that out. So, anyways, you know, everybody's EDC is going to kind of change over time. All right, thanks for watching, and if you haven't subscribed, be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.